Hello everyone, in this short tutorial we'll review the steps to importing the Knowledge Translation Module to a Sakai site for your course. The Knowledge Translation Module was de developed by Jane Morish, a Knowledge Mobilization Officer for Brock's Center for Lifespan Development Research. The module is an asynchronous lesson focused on details, quizzes, and example assignments for Brock instructors, and it provides students with an opportunity to understand the knowledge to action gap and learn strategies for knowledge translation. Note that you'll have an opportunity to explore the module before choosing to add it to your course's Sakai site, and you'll afterwards have an opportunity to modify it as appropriate for your course. The steps to importing the knowledge translation module begin after logging into Sakai and then clicking upon the home area in the Sakai navigational space that you see atop your page. Afterwards, click upon the membership area and then the joinable sites option. You'll find the knowledge translation module, uh, which is housed within a joinable Sakai site available after a quick search, which I found uh, entering KT uh, has been suitable for. Uh, so I've chosen to join and we'll now find that the KT module site is available uh, from my Sakai navigation. Although if you do find that it doesn't appear immediately for you. Uh, it may become located within the sites area within Sakai. Uh, so after visiting the site, I'm able to click upon the lessons area where the knowledge translation module is being housed. Uh, and I'm able to review the, uh, the module in full, including videos, uh, other, uh, other assets and textual information, uh, and of course, tests and assignments that, uh, that follow the conclusion of the module to allow students to, um, to reinforce the information that they've just come to understand. Uh, so if I've chosen, that, uh, chosen to uh, import the module or export it rather from this particular Sakai site and bring it into the course for my Sakai site as an instructor, I can choose to do so by first clicking upon the KT module import file and I'll see that it downloads to my computer. Uh, and as well, if I do desire to bring uh, the, the various stylings that are available within the module, and this includes the, the red banner or heading information, and as well the gray heading information that's available within this page, uh, I can choose to also include that within uh, the imported information in my Sakai site by clicking upon the KT module styling and then uh, if I'm a PC user, clicking Control S on my keyboard to save this page, or Command S on my keyboard if I prefer to, uh, if I'm a Mac user, rather. Okay, uh, so I've got the information and resources that I need now in order to bring the module to uh, my course's Sakai site. And so I'll choose to pay a visit to my Sakai site now. Uh, the first order uh, is certainly to enable the tools that will be necessary to facilitate the, uh, the module once it's available within my Sakai site. Uh, so that occurs in Site Info and Manage Tools. And I'll enable Assignments, Lessons, and Tests and Quizzes. Uh, so I'll find that the lessons tool has been enabled, but of course uh, is, is currently empty as a, result, as a result of me not having built any content within it. Uh, and this, rather than building content, of course, I'll choose to import the module to this location. And that occurs with uh, more tools and then import. And then at this point, I'll locate the file that I've exported oops, from the knowledge uh, from the, the Knowledge Translation Module site and click upon the Import button. This may take a, a few moments uh, for the import to occur. So, and once the import has completed, uh, I'll see that uh, an additional uh, instance of the Lessons tool has been created as a result of the import. Uh, clicking upon it sh should allow me to see that uh, the import has completed successfully, and that includes all of the media that's available within the module, as well as the uh, the, the, the quiz that uh, follows the, um, 
the content and, and the assignment. If I would uh, would like to edit any of the module's content, uh, the editor within the tests within the lessons tool is available uh, after clicking upon the the pencil over text box icon, and I'll see that it's editable as an instructor of this site. Uh, and lastly, I'll note that we've not yet imported the various styles that were available from the knowledge translation module site uh, proper. Uh, and currently we're using uh, the, the plain stylings that are available within the Sakai Lessons tool. Uh, if, if those uh, additional stylings are desired, they can be imported after clicking upon the gear icon. And then choose file within the CSS file area. And then the Sakai Lessons styles file that was downloaded a few moments ago. And then we'll see that those styles have applied. And lastly, uh, and, and though not critically, uh, it might be useful to remove the duplicated version of the lessons tool that we created as a result of the import. And that occurs within site info, manage tools. And then I'll want to be certain that I'm disabling the uh, first version of the lessons tool before choosing to continue. Uh, now the process has been complete. If you'd like assistance with uh, with this process, uh, and, and that is with importing the, the knowledge translation module, uh, you're encouraged to contact the CPI at edtech at brocky.ca. This information will also be available within the description of this video. Thank you for watching.